What's up guys? Uh, I'm with Mason today and we're today we're gonna go be picking up my S13. Uh, I dropped it off at Apollo Automotive. I took it there to get some wiring done and an alignment and corner balance and uh, well we found out that uh, the engine is knocking pretty bad. Uh, before I took it to them I noticed something was wrong but I didn't know it was severe like engine damage and uh so we're gonna get into that getting that back today and doing a little tear down later um hopefully it's nothing serious hopefully i can just use the ls6 block i have and transfer everything over i hope the heads are good i mean i still need to do a little bit of cleaning up i need to put my kirky in there and then i need to clean up the interior a little bit but other than that uh i think uh Hopefully soon we'll be ready to rip once I get the new engine figured out, whatever. What's going on guys? Just got here to this shop. Jet told me that he needed help with something. And then I found out what that something was. The LS S13 is broken. So what are we doing? Pulling the trans. Pulling the trans and the engine. Yeah. This is my 1993 Nissan 240SX hatchback. Uh, I bought it as a shell for 900 bucks, or 800 bucks, sorry. And uh, I decided to put an LS in it for my other car. Don't mind the messiness, but uh, it's a fully stripped chassis and uh, body harness, or fully stripped chassis and engine harness. It's a, it's a painless performance. EFI harness with a painless performance universal chassis harness, which is not that universal and painless performance is not that painless um, Just get a little it's a little it's a lot. It's really dirty. So this is my you know these doors um, There's my interior There's the a bunch of a bunch of the wiring the PCM and the painless fuse box. There's also another painless fuse box down there and under here I have a bunch of extra wiring for like speakers, radio, AC, windows, locks, power locks, stuff like that. Um, I got my, my race star drag pack on, my fuel cell, big fuel cell with a Walbro 255. Um, let me show you something really cool that I got for the car. It's a little emblem. LS1 sick and twisted, I'm gonna put it on the car. Thought it looked cool so I bought those. Uh, here's the LS1. It's got LS6 heads with a uh, T56 attach, attached, which is over there. Um, it's got a Texas Speed 224R cam, which is like a really mild cam, but it still sounds pretty good. Um, what else? Oil filter relocation kit, stuff like that you need for a 240. I'm currently not running a sway bar. It's not a big deal, because I'm only gonna be doing straight line racing for now. Cars was literally almost done. It was at Apollo Automotive, getting some, getting all my getting all the bushings replaced in it, and um, just a little bit of buttoning up some stuff, and a corner balance and alignment. That over there is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, that right there is taking up all my money right now, sadly. Not sadly, I don't know. But this sucks, because I just ordered a bunch of parts for that engine over there, and the next day I find out that the engine's knocking, so if I knew, I would have ordered the parts for the LS1 instead of Hint, hint that engine over there. So uh, yeah, we'll get to y'all later and show y'all some damage. We found out that there was more wrong. Yeah, so we uh, pulled the lifter trays and uh, there's a lot of uh, wear on the cam. There's bits and shards everywhere. So let's, let's just show you. I don't know if you can see much. I don't know if you can see the cam wear, but there's some pretty gnarly cam wear actually back here too. Sorry for the, see the cam wear? Uh, that's just, that's just, uh, it's not right. So, we just stuck it in there for now. Um, we're gonna put the hood on, wrap it up. Here's all the, here's the heads, the lifters, which have a bunch of, well these don't, 
Those have a bunch of stuff on them, metal flakes and shavings. Heads are fine. I'm gonna clean them up, obviously. But the heads are fine. Check out those metal shavings right there. That's just, that's just gnarly. This is crazy. And then uh, rockers and push rods are all good. Um, but yeah, so. LSX454. LSX454, let us know in the comments. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> Basically, I think we're just gonna do, finish tearing it down and go on from there. I'm probably gonna take it to the machine shop, get it bored out a little bit, like 10 over, 15 over, and uh, maybe just even go OE pistons. To grab a little drink. Let's see what I want. And there's like nothing. I need to empty all this. I think this is the last Bartle Skeet we have. Basically, the S13 is, you know, obviously down right now. I didn't think that we were, we were gonna get everything torn apart, and sorry that we didn't get, uh, sorry that we didn't get much footage uh, of us tearing apart. We were just too focused on tearing it apart and stuff, and we wanted to get everything done. We tried to get as much footage as possible without getting too distracted, but, um, yeah. Uh, John, me and John noticed that so there was a lot of metal shavings on the lifter trays and on the lifters. There's a lot of scoring on the lifters on the bottom of the lifters where the roller is. Um, the cam, cam's fucked. Uh, it's worn out. Uh, you can see the you can see the wear marks on it. It's in the video if you can see it, but there's bad wear marks on it. Um, so what what have we come to, to conclusion? Spun bearing. Yeah. Probably a spun bearing. Uh, Metal shavings everywhere. It was, it was meant to happen, you know. Um, so, oh, just trying to get everything fixed, save the machine shop as soon as possible. Bigger and better things. Bigger and better things, yeah. But once I have it back from the machine shop, um, everything's good to go. The, the hardest thing really to do is just put the engine and trans in the car. Other than that, everything's super easy to connect. Uh, we'll make a bunch of, we'll probably do a lot more videos on the S13 and the Fox body too. We're gonna do some work in the Fox body soon. Not sure when, mm -hmm. but pretty soon. <laughs> Hopefully go pick up an engine in the summer. Um, and then we'll go on from there. But S13's, S13's almost ready to go. I just need a freaking engine. And uh, we're good to go. But uh, thank you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like. Subscribe, comment, share with your friends, please. Uh, you know that, that means it really means a lot to us. Um, uh, we have a Instagram and Facebook page as well. That's uh, it's Sketchy Motorworks, no spaces or anything. Uh, on the Facebook, it has a space, but uh, on Instagram, it's just Sketchy Motorworks. Uh, give us a follow, share with your friends. Uh, we really, we really appreciate it, and we uh, hopefully you're gonna be making a lot more videos and uploading more content. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Later. Later.